Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 5 100% trophy guide video. In this video we're going to talk about fishing, uh, both river and sea fishing in Yakuza. So, Sirix has done uh, a great guide with distances and uh, correct bait and, you know, location of where these fish are and there's, there's loads of fish to, to catch in the rivers and the uh, sea. So I'm going to link to his guide because it's it's perfectly good. It's it's a great guide. Um, so what I personally did was whack his guide into Excel, uh, and then I'd just tick off as I went, and then you, you're left with however many you're left with. You might have already caught some. It'll be on your completion list anyway, uh, and from whatever you've caught already. So if you want to learn how to fish on this game, it's not that bad. Uh, it's very similar to the Yakuza 4 version. So essentially in the sea, there's two different types of fish in the river and sea fishing. The sea fishing is the more complex one. So the fish uh, appear in different sort of locations as you can see on the screen. So different baits cover different amounts of distance. So if your bait's covering a certain blue marker, you want to hit the blue marker rather than the purple. Um, so you cast out and obviously the the meter thing goes all the way to the end, it bounces back and then you try and land it in the position where the fish are. You'll end up catching loads of barrels, loads of suitcases, loads of umbrellas and all kinds of ridiculous nonsense even with the correct baits for certain fish. So. There is no, it's it's RNG what you get, but you can t kind of tell by the way it moves, like here. Um, once once you've hooked the fish, you can tell by the way it moves what it's going to be, kind of. So if it's a slow moving one, it's either going to be a slow moving fish, or it's going to be like a, uh, a briefcase or something. Whereas if it's flying around, it's likely to be the fish you want, but it can also be the barrel, because the barrels tend to fly around for some reason, uh, from left to right. So fishing itself, there you go, umbrella, typical. So, <laughs> so what you want to do with the fishing, you cast it out, once you've hooked it, you want to put your rod towards the, um, the water, so push your rod down. And then you want to equip the angler's hook as well. The angler's hook makes this so much easier. I can't even begin to describe how much easier it is with the angler's hook. So I think Shinada gets that at some point. Uh, off one of his sub-stories or something like that. So equip the angler's hook. And then you want to reel in at double speed. So R1 and R2 at the same time. But don't overcook it. Because if it goes into the red fully, then it'll snap off. If it goes into the blue on the left hand side, it means you're too like lenient on the pulling. So you want to just sort of follow the fish wherever direction it's going. And then just sort of tap the top two buttons as it goes. And just keep following it. Hopefully you'll bring it in. And then if you get some leeway with it, uh, like if it's standing still or whatever in your you can see the bars not going too far with the reeling in then just go for it but obviously once it gets close when it's like three meters away or one meter away uh, pull back on the stick so you're not in the water basically you're pulling up to rip the fish out of the water and that's kind of the best tips I can give really with fishing it's not that difficult but it is quite hard at the start if you don't know what you're doing so keep your rod down Follow the fish. I see the barrel. It's just so annoying. Oh my days. So follow the fish. Uh, left and right. You're gonna you're gonna catch a load of you know crap. <laughs> it's annoying, but it happens. So it's it's an RNG game. Uh, essentially, you've just got to bring it in. But you can tell, like if it was a shark, it'd be dotting left and right really fast. And like a marlin would do the same. And certain other smaller fish, yeah, pretty chilled. River fishing, slightly different. Uh, it's a lot less complicated. You just dip in your bait basically on the float, and as soon as the float goes into the sort of stick area, so once the float is fully submerged and it's the stick area, 
you just press X and it should hook a fish. Sometimes you have to tap X uh, to bring it in, but most of the time it just instantly pings it in. So a lot easier. Sirix has got his guide uh, with all the sea life and river life. Tells you all the distances, tells you what's the best bait to use. Really good guide, so I'll link that in the description. And yeah, hopefully this helps some people. That's the aim of the game with this, so fingers crossed. Uh, that helps a little bit. If you've got any questions, drop, uh, drop a comment and I'll try and respond to you as best I can. I had someone on the previous games fishing that... Uh, did that and we uh, solved the problem for us, so that was good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, there's different areas to fish as well, but that's all listed in uh, the guide, so props go to Sirik Z for his guide as always. Thank you very much for watching, take care and peace out. Sure.